Welcome to Reconnecting Africa. We are a channel designed to reconnect the black people throughout the world. We are everywhere, yes. Some left Africa even before colonization, even before the presence of the white men in Africa. Yes, yes, I'm talking about people in the Pacific also. People like Papua New Guinea, West Papua, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, Fiji. Yes, they have connections to Africa. Like I said in the other show, some left for better land in search for peace or whatever reason. So it's time for reconnection. It's time for us, black people, to reconnect. Hi there. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, once again, welcome to Reconnecting Africa. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, my name is San. I am 27, and I am from Spain. All right. Okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, my grandfather is from Morocco. Um, yeah, I used to have commentary from people telling me, where are you from? You look Brazil, you look Africa, you look everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. So, your, your grandfather's background is Morocco. Yeah, Do he's you from know? Tanger. From Tanger. where? Tanger. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, am, I can't remember nothing, but I never met my grandfather. Okay. The thing is, I was studying the school. The Morocco people, they were living in Spain for eight centuries. Um, mm. I know South Spain, is, the name is called Al-Andalus. Um, yeah, they used to live the Morocco people there. Um, okay. At the moment, uh, we have many people, Spanish and Morocco, a lot of mix and different backgrounds. Your grandfather um, got a Moroccan blood. Do you feel African? I feel, yeah, I feel, but I love dance. I feel all the time like, uh, yeah, like I used, I feel like uh, I've been living in tribus uh, with indigenous. Um, Africans reminds me mm. the original mm. from human, you know? Yeah, where, where we came from, from mm. Africa. So you feel connected to yeah, Africa? Yeah, I feel connected. Been to Morocco? No, no, yet. I want to okay. go. Okay. Yeah. So the Moroccan food and the food that you guys eat in Spain is, is sort of similar? Yeah, it's quite similar. And I had a lot of food from Morocco. Um, oh, my love. I, I love <laughs> it. I love it. A couscous, the tea, the, um, the normal dessert from Morocco. Okay. Yeah. Morocco lamb? Yeah, I had to. Very mm. nice. Oh, my God. Okay, this is much better. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I was asking you, so what are you doing in Sydney? Yeah, I've been in Australia for three years and a half. Okay. I've been traveling around, and I used to live in Bondi Beach in Sydney for one year, and now I am preparing my, my new trip. I am going to Bali, I am going back to my country, okay. and I want to travel around, and then I am going to Latin America, I want to go to Peru, to Brazil, to Colombia, yeah. This is wow. what Tell me, why do you want to go to all those places? I have something like I want to say, I have a, I found my, my real po power, okay. it's not outside, it's inside, mm. every human has a treasure inside. Do you feel like you connected to those people? Yeah, I have something to say. Yeah. This is what I want to do. It. I want to help people uh, to find their, their own power. And mm. It's inside, it's not outside. Okay. All my life I've been feeling very weird, mm. very depressed, I've okay. been feeling so bad. Mm. 
Um, I couldn't understand why. Um, now, after three years and a half in Australia, mm -hmm. uh, traveling inside of me, not just outside, inside yeah. of me, okay. I realized what is the reason like I've been feeling very sad and depressed. Because you're just staying in one place? No, the, the reason for I've been feeling sad, it was I never co couldn't realize who I am. Okay. What, what is what is inside of me. I, I am always believing my self-esteem is depend from something outside of me. Okay. If I have a car, if I have a, if I have a boyfriend, if, if I have a money, um, I am realizing all the power is, is just inside of us. And mm. this is, it was my trip in Australia. Find who I am. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you had to come to Australia to really think, isn't it? Yeah, for me, yeah, okay. for cry a lot, mm. for put out all my emotion, mm. for understand my family, my past, everything, everything. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, after traveling to Australia, do you feel much stronger as a person? Yeah, I feel, I feel no stronger. I feel like uh, nothing, uh, nothing else come with me. It's, I feel with power. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying about your grandfather from Morocco. Yes. Yeah, so I know Morocco is in Africa, and I'm sure if you dig yourself deeper, you find yourself connected to of Africa. Course. You haven't been to Morocco, so you haven't experienced Africa. What do you think about Africa? Um, yesterday, I've been in Manly, it's another place in Sydney, and I met a guy from Argentina. Okay. And he was telling me uh, his dream for all his life, it was go to Africa. Ooh. And he'd been talking with me about when he'd been in Africa, um, talking about the connection with the animals. Um, okay. If I think in Africa, I think in people making a real food, yes. having the food with his hand. Mm -hmm. and the connection with the land and with the, with the animals. So when you think about Africa, you think about the connection the people have with, of the, food. The, of the food, the yeah. animals, the nature. And he's been there learning about the food in different cultures. Okay. Something very, very important. He said to me, I know the hand of these people had experience. Every, every hand has like a many memory there. Oh, wow. He was telling me that, and it was something like, uh, I realized, yes. yeah, in Australia, okay. we, we are in a paradise, but we don't mm. have that. We don't mm. have this culture, and this yeah. is the... Yeah, so you, yeah. you really want to be part of that culture, close yeah. to nature. Yeah, this is the most important. Mm. The, the people with culture, they are rich, and they, they, they mm. didn't know. So you think having money, having... Everything is not important in life. If you want to be free and make your uh, dream come true, you need the money. It's very important. But the most important is be good inside of you. And realize the most important is to stay and create a big space for you and try to find something like that you can feed all that you need mm. inside. And then get money, get boyfriend, get house. It was something extra. You don't need that. And understand that this is the most important. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. And be free yeah. is take every day the decision, the what do you want, not what do you think, mm. or not what the, the society expects about you. It's taking every day your own decision. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is the light from Spain, but <laughs> Morocco background, if you dig deeper, she found herself in Africa. She found that she's African. So a lot of things to know, a lot of things to dig. You know what I mean? Can you imagine one day when you go to Africa? Can you imagine? I want to dance. If I get Africa, I will call someone. I will say, where is the place for go to dance? I want to mm. dance. Dance okay. is amazing. I am a therapy and I know when you dance, you can put it out your emotion and you mm. can understand what is happening inside of you. I used to have a personal trainer in Spain. Okay. He's from Africa. Mm. Um, he was cooking for me the typical food from there and I had, and it, it's amazing. Um, he was telling to me about the dance and he showed me the typical dance from there. Africa is rich, but most of the people, they didn't know what they have. 
Yes, you're right. So you tell me that in Africa, correct me if I'm wrong, what you're saying is that, and you just said to me, is that Africa is rich. Yeah. Not just in natural resources. No, they but have connection with the universe. Mm. They know God is true. Wow. And when you know that, you are more rich than living in Australia and wow. have money. And Yeah, this is the, 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 the truth. Yeah. But the people don't realize that, isn't it? No. The society is teaching you to put your power outside. If you have money, if you have car, if you have boyfriend, this is not true. You need to have connection. If you don't have connection with your, with your country, with who you are, with God, with the real love, you are poor. Yeah. This is well, the bit. Yeah. And that's the message to Africans from someone that has... African blood, even though she was born in Spain. Her grandfather is from Morocco, and she knows how rich Africa is. We're not talking about the natural resource. We're talking about the connection to nature. Like she said, the connection to God, the understanding, the joy, the peace. We are living now in a society, like unfortunately, we need money for do the thing like we want to do it or for feel free, no? But when you realize the, the power is came from you, inside of you, it's the moment like you can create money outside. Um, you can live more freedom, but feeling and realizing the money is not giving you nothing. The money mm. is just a material for your use. You can use the money for do good thing or bad thing, but this is extra. This is extra. Um, yeah, everyone has the opportunity for create money and yeah everyone deserves money everyone and money is not bad we need to change our perception about money uh, uh, our system belief about money but we we want money but we are always thinking bad thing about money mm. and we need to change our perception mm. for create money mm. but money is very important and you okay. know are a bad person or you know are less spiritual or you know are less human if you have money in your life, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> wow, that's a, what a lesson, really, <laughs> really powerful lesson, you know, because people have to understand that when we seek the material things, one gives you peace. The more you seek it, the more trouble you have. But when you live just that peaceful life, I'm not saying that you're going to starve, you don't going to eat or whatever. You have those things, but just enjoy of what you have believe in your in your dream you can came through your dream if you don't have dream in your life it's very difficult to live but whatever you feel in your heart like you want to create you can do it just put it in the way and it's hard and it's difficult but this is life what is life without dream are you going back to spain to to settle down or are you going to no i want to still traveling there and i want to yeah, this year is for me. It's for giving me love, and I wanna do retrieve. I wanna connect with people. I wanna give love. Any plans to maybe one day to go not just to Morocco but to go to uh, Africa? Yeah, of course, definitely. I had a big conversation yesterday with a friend, and he was telling me about his experience in Africa. Um, he was make me think. Oh my God, I wanna this connection. I wanna see the elephant very close to me. I wanna meet uh, these people. Um, yeah, I want to I wanna see this culture very mm. close to This me. culture, the music, yeah. like you say. Everything. The yeah. dance, the drums. Yeah. yeah. The food. The I food. love food. Yeah. And the language and the yeah. people. Yeah. Okay, one more thing. You know, a lot of people, when they think about Africa, they think there's no city there. Everything is bush, bush, animals. Do you think there's cities in Africa? You don't know? Uh, I think there is cities there, yeah. but it's different than the okay. our yeah our perception about city. We expect something like a Sydney, and there can be animals and can be car at the same time. Yeah, yeah, but of course there's city. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, man. Woo. Woo. I feel like I want to dance now. That's a show. <laughs> what sort of dance is this? Flamenco. Okay. 
tan tan flamenco show um i don't know i, I don't know many okay. dance about in spain but the more famous is do you flamenco know, show do you know any dances in africa <laughs> yeah i know the I don't know what is the name, but I know a small kid black dancing with his palm, and his <laughs> body. Um, okay. Yeah, sounds amazing. I know one. She's yeah. from Spain. Her grandfather is from Morocco. So she got connection to Africa. And she's keen to travel to Africa to experience things that a lot of Africans take for granted. The food, the music, the nature, all things that mankind need. She will want to go there to experience that. Before I go, I just want to give you the opportunity to say anything that probably I, I forgot to ask you and you want to say anything. No, the only thing I want to send an Africa from me is uh, everyone is having now for problem or trouble or bad situation. I want to I wanna send you all my love and a big hug. Um, I want to let you know everything is happening for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, ghost is true. Um, yeah. And the one day you're going to go see them. Yeah, of course, and I want to go to see to see uh, this kind of people, the culture. I want to dance with these guys, and I want to connect with people from Africa. And I know this culture has a lot of things to teach me. And this is something like I want to do. And another of my dream is sleep there in a with elephant, with animals. Yeah, I want to see that uh, very close to me. Uh, I want to live in a tent and I stay very connecting with the nature and all these animals in Africa. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Those words, I'm sure, will teach us something, you know, because a lot of African people take, like I said, a lot of things for granted. A lot of African people, they don't want to be in Africa. They want to leave Africa to come to this Western world. Yeah. You know, but... My, my, Africa is where the life started, you know what I mean? All right, so for those who been watching this channel, please I ask you to support us, to help us to grow, not just to watch it, but subscribe, to like it, to comment, especially constructive comments, because we are here to edify one another. We've been destroyed for a long, long time, it is time for us to be as a one, to get to know one another, to understand one another, to lift up one another, to support one another. So I ask you, if you can, please subscribe, like it, comment, let the Reconnecting Africa grow all for our people throughout the world. Like you saw here, she might be Spanish, Mm -hmm. But she knows herself that she got a Moroccan blood. Okay, thank you for listening. And I will send you a lot of love and sure, hug. Sure. Reconnecting Africa. Africa. Yeah. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.